better than three Floyd's beer. Three Lloyd's talking movies. Good morning, guys. Good, good morning. morning. Good to good see morning. you. Oh, good synchronicity there, too. What do we have this week? Well, we got a nice mix of movies, uh, one that the boys will talk about in just a minute. But first, I'm going to talk about The Secret Garden. Mysterious now, you may remember they made a movie of this about 1993. Uh, this is a remake of the classic novel about a young orphan British girl who, after World War II, is sent to live with her stern uncle, played by Colin Firth, um, and she lives in a great big mansion, and things are very dreary, uh, and he has a son, but he's kind of nasty to her and sickly, but she discovers this garden that used to belong to the man and his wife, she, she's gone now, of course, and sort of magical things happen there, and her life begins to open up, and she makes friends, uh, it's just a really lovely story about pain, but also about hopefulness, and I really enjoyed it a lot. Oh, good. Good to hear that. Okay, what's Sam Sam? So Sam Sam is an animated French film about a world where everyone has superheroes except for one boy named Sam Sam. Uh, so guys, uh, Joel, do you want to talk about it first what you like? For me, it was um, it was a little um, crazy. Um, they could have done better editing for the buildings. It, they were just boxes, sort of, to me. Uh, was, you have uh, it's yeah, pretty strange. Yeah. Right. Okay, but I think you kind of liked it at least, right? Yeah, I'd give it a six. Six okay. out of ten. That's good. All right. Okay. That's good. Cameron, what about you? What'd you think? Well, um, pretty good. Maybe a ten. Ten out of ten? Yeah. Well, what did you like most about it? Um, the black hole part where he went out in his suit. Don't give it away. And don't give it away. I'm no. not. I'm. I'm. I'm just no. saying the part. No spoilers. No, so he got out of his suit. He oh, left it all in the, all the stuff. He um and the ship went in the black hole, and yeah. then the monster yeah. went in the black hole yeah. too. Okay, that's enough. That's, that's yeah. Good. All right. So it sounds like you guys did like it. Yeah. I, I know which one's Cisco and which one's Ebert in that situation. Okay, yeah. and the tax collector. The tax collector stars Sheila LaBeouf, and this is a sort of a hardcore. Uh, gang crime movie about he kind of plays like the enforcer who is in charge of collecting the taxes for all the other gangs and then a gang war starts off uh, and he and his family are kind of targeted along with his partner this is written directed by david ayer who made a great film starring um uh the guy whose name i can't remember right now uh, but uh jake gyllenhaal called end of watch from a few years ago that i do highly recommend so if this one is anywhere near as good uh it should be excellent I've been hearing a lot about I used to go here. Yeah, so this is a dramedy um, that stars uh, Jillian Jacobs, and she plays kind of a 30-something woman. Life isn't really going anywhere. All of her friends are getting married and having babies, but she has just published her first novel, which gives her a reason to go back to her college alma mater and uh, give a talk. And she finds herself sort of reconnecting with her old professor and just wanting to stay there and not leave. And she actually ends up moving, or at least staying in the house where she used to live with a bunch of guys and connecting with them. So it's kind of a, you know, a grown up re-experiencing their youth kind of a story. Hmm, okay. And uh, Waiting for the Barbarians. Am, am I even correct? This is a Johnny Depp film? Yeah, Johnny Depp stars in it. He's actually, uh, uh, Mark Rylance is the lead. Johnny Depp is kind of the bad guy. Set somewhere in Asia around World War One, maybe even before, historical drama about a administrator who is being visited by sort of the evil, uh, uh, representative of the British Empire who feels like he's not being tough enough on the locals. Uh, and meanwhile, he, he's sort of having like a dance with wolves kind of experience where he's really connecting with them. Uh, and uh, yeah, it's a movie. Uh, and uh, uh, so it's just kind of a different story there about the, the different uh, approaches to being a stranger in a strange land. What's, what's cool that's strange? Uh, an American Pickle. Uh, this is on HBO Max uh, and stars Seth Rogen, and he plays an immigrant who had just recently moved to the United States, uh, works in a pickle factory, falls in a vat of brine, becomes preserved for 100 years, and wakes up now uh, and finds himself sort of being uh, disconnected from the world. He ends up moving, becoming roomies with pretty much his only surviving uh, descendant, which is his great-grandson also played by Seth Rogen, uh, and they're sort of having a, a cultural clash there of, you know, a guy from Eastern Europe in uh, 1920 versus sort of a, a schlubby loser guy from 2020. It's like a mummy, but a pickle mummy. Pickle mummy. Yeah. <laughs> you got one more? Finally, uh, on Disney Plus, we have a documentary, uh, Howard, 
Uh, maybe most people don't know the name Howard Ashman because he died in the early 1990s. I think he actually died before Beauty and the Beast came out. He was a lyricist who wrote the lyrics for many of the great memorable songs, Little Mermaid, uh, Beauty and the Beast from those Disney animated films, kind of the marking the revival of the animated genre. Just a, a great look, a guy whose name is maybe not remembered as much as it should be. Ah, okay, great. Definitely worth checking out. I, I don't think there's too much of a, of a plot spoiler there. I think we're going to be okay. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think he'd give anything away that's total. It's, it's there's good. a black hole, and a guy does go. I mean, if there's a black hole in a movie, somebody goes in it. That's just the that's way just it works. The... <laughs> <Yeah>, always, <laughs> gentlemen. Always a pleasure. Appreciate your perspective. All right. Thanks. Say goodbye, guys. Bye. Bye.